welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here i have such an exciting vlog for you guys i am going on holiday so it's going to be a little holiday vlog i'm flying out to turkey for a week with my mom and my little sister maria we're going for six days and we're going to be staying in istanbul and i can't tell you how excited i am i'll talk about it more in a second but i am off to go holiday shopping so i've got a list of things that i need i've done most of my outfit shopping on asos but we're going to go to primark and h&m just to pick up sandals and stuff like that i'll show you my outfit it's very cute the weather has been horrible here so it's making me even more excited to be going on holiday this is my outfit i will link it all in the description box it's this really pretty brown top from asos and then these linen pants that i can't stop wearing these are also from asos and then i have this bag that's from primark i absolutely love it it looks so expensive um it also turns into a crossbody like it came with a strap and i think it was only like eight pounds or something i've got lashes on just finished wedding season and i feel like my face looks weird unless it's caked with makeup i don't know if anyone else gets like that so i put lashes on and yeah i love it i will vlog more when i'm out and about oh so we're in travel center well we're at primark we're going to primark first and it's so busy because we forgot it's half term so we're gonna be in the queue for a while so it's a little bit later in the day. I did all my holiday shopping. I definitely have everything I need now, but I decided I'm going to put it all into a different vlog. That should be out by now. Definitely go check that out before you watch this. I just took all my makeup off, had a shower, and now I'm gonna do some skincare. I have a really cool skincare device to show you guys. I've been using it for a while now, and it is this adorable little device by Redu. Redu, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I'll put it on the screen, but it is called Boost and I have been loving using this. I use it every single day with my skincare and I'm gonna tell you a bit about it now. So this is a beauty device that supercharges your skincare product. The best thing is, is that you're not changing your skincare routine. It's taken me so long to find a skincare routine that works for my skin, so I don't think I'll be switching up anytime soon. And this doesn't change it at all. It just makes you get the best out of your products that you already have, which is amazing. Like, why wouldn't you wanna do that? So basically, they have a very easy to use app and I've added all my skincare care products here that I use every single day to tell you what the best light therapy is to use it with. Basically the device takes into consideration the active ingredients in your skincare products, the age, gender, skin type and even the climate you live in and your specific skincare concerns. It takes all of that into consideration so you're really getting the most out of your products. So I've just turned the device on so as you can see it uses LED light as well as alternating vibrations. This is my nighttime skincare routine. I'm going to be using something that I use all the time and it is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I literally love skincare devices like this. Through the app I have turned, so through the app I have turned my device on and you can hear that it's vibrating and you can see the LED colors. So mine is using orange and red light therapy which basically means it's targeting my dull skin and helping reduce fine lines and wrinkles. So if you want the boost device make sure you click the link in my description box and yeah I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys so it's the next day today. It's a Thursday and we are flying out on Monday. Today me and Shafa are having a shoot day and we are working with our favorite brand in the world Monica Vinader. Guys can you believe it I talk about Monica Vinager in every single vlog and I actually got to pick out these earrings. Me and Shafa are both in dresses. We're gonna get some reels together. We're just gonna go all out because it's literally our favorite brand um, and I've got all the other jewelry on as well from Monica Vinader. You guys know. I'm really excited for you guys to see this outfit. I'll try to vlog whilst I'm out but I've got a bag full of clothes I want to shoot here. I've got this really pretty bag. Oh I am gonna do a separate haul of what I got from the shopping day. I'm gonna do like a summer haul. So if you're wondering why I didn't show anything that I got is because there's a separate video which will be up before this. So Shovel's here as well. We're gonna leave now and then at three o'clock I have a facial. Guys I've never gotten a Hydra facial or any type of facial in my life so I'm so excited. This clinic called Lavelle in Manchester they reached out to me and asked if I wanted a facial. I'm getting a Hydra facial. My skin will be glowing for the holiday. Um, but yeah I think that's all I'm doing today but I'll take you guys along. Okay. We've made it to town. We're just parking up now. So we are all done with shoot day. Just took my lashes off. I'm gonna take my makeup off in the car because I have that facial that I'm getting done. So I've just got a makeup wipe and I'm gonna take it off. This is 
everything that just came out my face and there's like white ch oh it's really disgusting i'm so sorry there's like white flakes in it oh my gosh i've just come out of my hydrofacial and guys my skin has never looked this good i didn't realize the results would be that drastic and instant i can't explain how clean and glow look at that my face looks so glowy i just said this glow will last for a few more days and like my face feels so tight and clean she sucked out the dirt as you guys saw that was like white flake oh it was nasty it was actually nasty but if you are in manchester and you need a hydrofacial i recommend um laval the girl who did my um facial i don't know if she wants her name on the internet but she was so sweet and i just had a very nice relaxing time and oh, I can't like you can physically see my skin just looks so good right now anyway I'm gonna go to dinner now I'm not gonna vlog that so I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully I get some packing done because we're going on Monday and haven't started packing I kind of know roughly what I'm taking okay so I've pulled out my Stamford suitcase I got these sent to me it was like a set of three they're so good and I'm really excited to use them to travel again all my holiday clothes are just on my bed so I'm very excited to pack them all hey away guys, it is the day that we are traveling to Turkey I probably won't film again until tomorrow because today is just a travel day the flight is at 4 45 it takes about four hours to get there we're arriving at Turkey at like 11 so it's gonna be night so there's no point in vlogging today but i'll see you guys tomorrow when i'm in turkey i have moisturized my face so much just because it always gets really dry on planes so it's a good time to lather my skin in like oils and face creams i will catch you guys later <laughs> About to eat our airport food. I got pasta. Mario's filming a TikTok of the food. Got my pasta and some bread and orange juice. We just got off the airplane. We landed in Istanbul Airport. It's about 11 o'clock over here. It's like a two hour time difference. We're on the way to our hotel. So we've made it to the area that we're staying in. And it's like nearly 2 a.m. and everyone's out on the streets. It's so cute. All the restaurants are still open. We just made it to our hotel called we'll Miss Istanbul and Spa and it's like right next to everything, it's very local. Just a little room tour, here's the door and then when you come in there's a little hallway and then to my right there's a wardrobe and safe. Then you got a little cupboard here, a tea making station and an empty fridge to put all your waters in it. Oh, we got slippers guys. I really like this door. This, look at the detail on it, so pretty. Go in, really nice bathroom. You guys know I love hotel bathrooms and this one's a good one, it's very clean. Oh my gosh guys, light up mirror. Oh wait. <laughs> It doesn't work. That's awkward. Anyway, out of the bathroom, we've got a bed. So we just did one bedroom with a double and a single bed because it's just three girls. This, we have a little vanity area, which is very cute. We've got a little sofa here. So very nice. Show it you guys in the morning. Hi guys, so it is Tuesday, it's our first full day in Istanbul. I'll tell you our itinerary and give you like an outfit of the day when I come back upstairs, but we're gonna go downstairs for some hotel breakfast right now and I'll show you what we're eating. We're all a bit tired to be honest, but I think we just need some breakfast and we'll be fine. We're going to the first floor, just waiting for the lift. Guys, how random is my breakfast? I've got like one onion ring in there. My mum's little egg in a pot. It's so cute. Some orange juice. Oh, my piece actually looks nice. I've got an onion ring as well. <laughs> just one. And I have some coffee, of course. We just came to check out the pool because I think we're going to use this tonight. So exciting. It's the sauna. We've just come to check it out. I feel like that would be too much for me. I might get claustrophobic. It's just so pretty here. They've just got loads of little stores. Oh my gosh, they had like fruit cups before. That's what we're doing. Just waiting to 
across the street. They don't have pedestrian crossing. Oh, it's the famous Hafiz Mustafa. We've just come to this place to exchange our money because we haven't done that yet. Just exchange our money and we're gonna go down to the sea. I hope you can see that and take a boat. It's called the Bosphorus Boat Tour. We just bought this tour. It's 90 minutes for well, 75 liras. And um, that's my ticket. So this is like three pounds, works out to three pounds. We're just sitting next to the sea. We're gonna people watch with our ice creams whilst we wait for our boat, boat tour. Does he show your ice cream? Another chocolate layer. Yeah, we got strawberries. Milka Cornetto, it's so good. Getting on the boat. Oh, we're going upstairs. I just fell. <laughs> wow. This is our view, it's so peaceful here. started watching her spray on Netflix. Oh, she's giving me an airport. We're watching her spray and look at the view that we have. Wow, outdoor cinema vibes. <laughs> Maria, how did you find the boat tour? Give your honest opinion. It was, it was good, but it was really long. Yeah, we're gonna find a place to eat. We want some lentil soup, because that's like a very traditional and Turkish day. It's really chilly though. Yeah, guys, it was up. raining before. And I didn't know I was still in Manchester. My mum forced us to pack cardigans, these knit ones, and we're so grateful. Tours over, kids. See you when we have some soup. We've just come to a little restaurant for lunch, and we ordered two lentil soups. I'm so excited. We also ordered some heated. I'm so excited. I haven't had heated in years. And we got some cold water. I haven't that much. Having a really good day so far, and I'll show you when the food comes. Just got our soup, got a little lemon wedge and they gave us a bread basket as well. She's gonna taste the soup now. Turkey is known for their lentil soup, it's meant to be really good. Me and my mum just ate that so fast, it was amazing. We've got our PDs, they look so good. This is called um, Cafe Esma, by the way. I'll take a picture of the sign. Okay, let's try some it's like a mix they give you complimentary yeah, tea and it comes in these really cute um, plates. This is why we just ate, if you're wondering. <laughs> That's fresh kanata. Hi guys, so we're back to the hotel for a bit. We're about to head out and go to the Spice Bazaar and then we're gonna go to the Solomon Mosque. And then we're gonna go out to dinner as well. But yeah, having a really good day so far. The weather, it's starting to get sunnier now. Before it was like humid and it rained for a bit, like literally like two minutes. We had like cardigans on. So I'm hoping when we go out today, it'll be a little bit warmer. You can hear the avant. <laughs> Guys, Louis Vuitton unboxing video. I'm joking. Basically, I stuffed all my money in here, and every time I was like taking it out, it was like falling out. Um, so I was like, I want to buy a fake designer since I have to buy a wallet. So I found these on the streets, and it was 20 lira, so it was a pound. Thought I'd tell you guys about my little Louis Vuitton purchase. Guys, I'm finally getting my um, fruit pot and we're on the way to the bazaar. I'm so excited and he's putting chocolate all over it as well. Okay, we're about to go into the spice bazaar. This is more relaxed, do you want to smell? Yeah. 
because it has mainly sap, pomegranate, flower, chamomile, hibiscus, all these herbs is good for relaxation. Mm. Okay. This one. This one is dafti. You've this given one us is a lot of testers. It's like I'm recording it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Cinnamon, anise, uh, kale, cardamom, ginger. We're at the Spice Bazaar. We just went like up and down. Then we bought some apple tea and my mom wants to buy this thing called salad spice. If you follow Ruji the foodie on Instagram, she always talks about it apparently. Ruji, if you see this, give my mum a shout out, she loves you. I'm going to go back to the first store and buy the salad spice. But such good vibes here, we're having a really good time. Uh, they do everything, it's not just spice, they sell everything. So She's getting the salad spice. Let's look at this. Chili for your mother-in-law. Nazi. I don't know what I have. Do you want to show it's it? Really it's really good. pretty. That's that. That's got like big. How much is that? Oh my gosh! Mangoes, so pretty. Shout out to this spice store. Um, this is where we got our spices from. They actually have the nicest spice in the whole market, according to my mom, because she tasted all of them. So, yeah. <laughs> So we just finished with the Spice Bazaar and now we're in a taxi. We're on our way to get food. I don't know how to pronounce the name but I'll show you the sign. So. On Istakal Street um, in Taksim. We just got our soup. Sour soup looks so good. It smells amazing. We just finished that soup so quickly and we're gonna have some crunchy roll sushi. Mari just got some soy sauce in there. So we got some chicken, beef, so and I'm then two portions of egg fried rice. Oh my gosh, guys, that food was so good. We recommend general something chicken, but get this, it's so good. It's just off the, what's that street called? It's the car street. It's the car street. This is what it looks like inside, but we really liked it. And the hot and sour soup was really nice as well. Walking down, it's the car street, and it's so busy. It's crazy. It's only June. I can only imagine how much busier it's gonna get. But it gives me very like, European vibes. But this is called the European side of Istanbul, so that's probably why. We're gonna go back across the bridge to our hotel now. Just got into our taxi. Look how busy it is out here. It's crazy. So keep that in mind if you're gonna stay in Taksim. <laughs> And here we are, Miss Istanbul. I really like the vibes around our hotel. It's very chill. So it's the next day today. We're just gonna go get breakfast and then I'll explain in day to you guys. And I'll remember to give you guys an outfit of the day today because I don't think I did it yesterday. My outfit of the day. So these earrings are from ASOS. They're just these gold chunky ones and they go with everything. So I bought them with me. And then I got this necklace from Masoma and it matches the dress perfect. My rings are from Monica Vinada and then the dress. It's from on. ASOS, it's so nice. The bag that I've been carrying is this H&M one. Very cute. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Top Copy Palace today. Such a pretty walk to the palace. It's a lot sunnier today, so it's just nice to walk about. Uh, we just went through security. Now we're here on the grounds, it's so beautiful. I remember when I came here with high school, I think we spent the whole day here. We were walking to the ticket office, which is there, and then I'll just show you around. We read reviews and it all said be that early, like nine o'clock. And <laughs> we just got here at 10 40, so that's on us. The lines are pretty long, but should be fine. So we're getting our tickets and then you can get the audio guides there. And the audio guides are free, so I'll let you guys know if they're beneficial or you can just end up reading things on the wall. The audio guides are meant to be really good. They kind of censor like what room you're in and it changes to that, so you don't need to walk in a particular order. But I'll tell you if it's good. 
getting some water from this cute little drink stand next to the ticket booth and then we're gonna pick up our audio guides the queue was like literally five minutes it went really fast so this is a model structure of Tupaki Paris Mari is listening to the audio tour uh, there's numbers on each section and then you type it in show them how you type it in so you type it in so that says 101 yeah so you press 101 and you press play and, and then she starts talking to you and look how cool she looks Shafa, here's some roses for you because I know you like roses. Look, it's the water. Look at the view, guys. It's so pretty. And the water is actually blue here. Are you enjoying yourself? Uh, it's really good. Oh, that's good. It's really hot, which is nice as well, but I'm getting so tired from the sun. Yeah, you look glowy though. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, no, this is the cute scene. <laughs> My heart. It's getting some ice cream for me and Maria. But we just exited the palace and Hagia Sophia Mosque is right outside. It's beautiful. I feel like you can't capture things like this on camera. We just got some pomegranate juice, got it with ice as well. Six years ago, I watched Dina Tokyo's Istanbul vlog and she had this potato. I feel so nostalgic looking at this, isn't it, Maria? Because of Dina's vlog. I know. I've been thinking about that jacket potato ever since. Like for six years. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, anyway, it's outside the Sofia Hagia Mosque, but they have loads. Um, around Turkey and we've got the blue mask right there we decided not to get to the get the potatoes by the way we're gonna go to the mosques first so we're in the Hagia Sophia so beautiful here they have flowers everywhere come to these famous guys for ice cream who just never give you your ice cream <laughs> <laughs> We're getting some fruit parts to take back to the hotel. Back at the hotel and we're just gonna enjoy our fruit pot. Yes. I got cherry, strawberries and pineapple. Yeah. Hi guys, don't mind my makeup, it's very expired. But we're just gonna go somewhere local and then we're gonna come back here, chill again and then go to the blue mosque and just check out the masks and walk around i don't know i'll take you guys along with us so this is what it looks like directly outside our hotel we've got restaurants everywhere my mom wants to buy turkish delights and stuff they just let us try these chocolates they were so nice look how pretty they are as well and then they give you a box and like just let you choose whatever because they do baklava like chocolates tea everything look at these are literally gorgeous wow we're gonna come eat here. This is what the menu is. We're sat outside and the weather's <laughs> so nice. Um, and then we got drinks. I got orange juice. I love getting fresh fruit juice. And then Mari's got Matches a lemonade. Oh my gosh, yeah, it does. And then Mama, what did you get? Very cute. This is our starter. And then we got bread with it as well. Doing our clay pot on the road. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we are at the Suleimanian Mosque. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you guys now. But it's so pretty because the sun's setting. So the sky's up there. I love it.
So you can cover up using that and buy her some scarves outside if you need to. This is how it looks inside. So beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm just waiting for my mom and Maria to finish praying, but I've just been sat here and it's so peaceful. Let me just show you my view. Got out that taxi and now we're gonna go to Hafiz Mustafa. We haven't been yet, I'm so excited. Uh, I'll talk to you when I cross the road because it's kind of scary. Okay, Mari and my mom are in the queue, but I wanted to show you what they sell. Look at how the honey comes in this little box, it's so cute. Like, you get a box like that and it opens up and there's like fresh honey. Then the tea comes in this little tin, this in the tin. I think that's such a cute gift. Turkish delight and these little, these little tins. How cute is that? The chocolate, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I would so get this. But then I would literally eat the whole tin and I can't do that. But they look like truffles. I love chocolate, by the way, if you haven't, if you can't tell. Um, and then they've got these, just like chocolates. What a pretty gift. Oh, they've got pistachios. And they've got mini Turkish delight as well. Right, the menu. The view of outside, very cute in here. We'll order and we'll tell you if it's worth it. This is the most hyped place in Turkey, I feel like. So we're getting one kanafa. Please don't laugh at my pronunciation. And then one chocolate forest cake. Guys, look at this. It looks pretty. But I'll tell you if it tastes nice. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. We also got two apple teas and a pomegranate tea. Oh, and it comes in a little cup. So cute. So Mazi is going to do the kuna <laughs> It is the next day and I look very summery. I've got a little straw hat on that I bought yesterday from a little market. It has a little bow at the back and I think it's so cute. I am exhausted because Mario's itinerary is jam-packed. It is not a joke. We are going to see everything in these six days that we are here. Um, so yeah, today we are going to go to the Galata or Galata Tower. I can't pronounce anything, I'm so sorry. We're gonna go there and I think you can walk all the way to the top and the view should be very nice. We're gonna go have the San Sebastian cheesecake which is like right outside I think. And then we're gonna walk and get these potatoes. I was showing you them yesterday in the vlog. It's like that, I think they do them in loads of different places. Um, but since we're already over there, we're gonna walk to that potato place and get them because we didn't get them yesterday because um, they weren't on Mari's itinerary. We have to follow the itinerary. So we're gonna get them today and then we're gonna come back on the tram. Oh, we're gonna figure out the tram system today. And then we're gonna go to the other side. I think we're gonna go to the Asian side. So the Galata Tower's in the Europe side and we're gonna go to the Asian side. I'll double check everything. And over in the Asian side, they have the biggest mosque in Turkey. We're gonna go check that out. The mosques here are so beautiful. The one we went to yesterday was really, really nice. We went during the evening time. So it, I think it was about like eight o'clock and it was dead. So if you wanted to go check that mosque out, I think go at eight, because then you can um, just look around and then if you have time, you can pray Maghrib there as well. Today, when we get back, I think we're gonna come back to the hotel. So the biggest mosque in Turkey is called the Grand, I think. Maybe that's a nickname, I'm not sure. Yeah, very exciting day. Excited to take you guys along with me and I'll give you a little OOTD. I'm actually wearing, you know the green dress I was wearing the other day? I actually don't think I showed you guys that. But it's the white version and I'm obsessed. I really love it. And Mari is wearing the green dress I wore the other day so we're kind of matching, it's very cute. We figured out the tram, it's so easy, so peaceful here. Even when it's crowded, it just feels very peaceful. Um, and we're gonna go to the Blue Mosque now. But if you are coming to Istanbul, 
just keep in mind that a lot of it's under construction. I think the inside will be fine. Well, they gave me a little hijab to wear in the mosque. Um, the ones at the Sophie Hagi, I think you have to pay for. They're like 10 lira or something like that. I don't remember. They're disposable. Um, these ones are free, but you have to return them. So remember to return them. Um, but yeah. I'm Hi with Mazi. We're wearing matching dresses today. Oh yeah, I told him that. Oh. My new nickname for Zara is Mr. Worldwide um, because she met a viewer in Turkey. Yeah. And I was like, what are the chances of you me me meeting a viewer? And then she met one and I was like, you're Mr. Worldwide. And then yeah. two people messaged me saying that they saw me as well. So I put yeah. my story, if you see me, come say hi. Even in Manchester, if you see me, come say hi. And if you see Maria, say hi to her <laughs> as well, just to embarrass her. Also, Mari's nickname is Miss Istanbul because she's obsessed with Istanbul. I love it. I'm going to retire here. And she's a planned a whole trip and it's really crazy. And I'm exhausting them because I'm putting everything. Not me, Mama. Yeah. We don't. Although, you know, when people are trying to sell you stuff like oh, Turkish yeah. Delight and stuff, they hear us saying Mama and they go, Mama, Mama. They come keep in. calling Mama, Mama. It's, it's so, so funny. funny. <laughs> but they're like, Mama, you have a beautiful smile. <laughs> they're, they're like, Mama, like, how can you does. be Mama? Yeah. I love it here. Oh guys, the kids are playing with the car. It's so cute! I feel like there's just roses everywhere in Turkey and they're so pretty. It just looks really nice. So we're inside. Everything's under construction. I'll give you a quick pan over. Just walking out the blue mask. So these are the little stations that you top up at. You just tap the car and put your money in it to top up, literally. And the tram basically goes, there's only like one line backwards or forwards. So I'll show you, it's really simple. Guys, the dogs just passed out right on the flower bed. Bless him, there's two of them. That's so cute. Here we are. So as I was saying, we kind of moved the plan around a bit. So we went to the Blue Mosque and then we were going to go to Galata Tower. But now we're just going to go straight to that big mosque. We're going to do that first. Um, and we take a ferry there, so I'm very excited. And then after that, we'll just have the whole day in like the Taksim area. We are getting a boat ferry to Oskodar. We stop to get some ice cream before we get onto the boat. We're gonna get a taxi boat all the way. Oh, let's see if you can see it all the way to that little island over there. So me and Mari have been trying all the different ice creams here. Um, I went with an original today. Yeah. I was feeling it. Yeah. So I got the original Cornetto. Beautiful. Um, the ice creams here are so nice, guys. Hey guys, we're on the boat now. I think in it. Oh, oh, so sorry. Run the boat. Weather is beautiful. It's so nice. I think I forgot to put sunscreen on them. Oh no. Mazzy. My goodness, perfect boat weather, guys. Wow. You see that mosque there? That's literally where we're going. Biggest mosque in Turkey. We're gonna get this bus, 15C. The mosque is right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go in. But before we go in, we're gonna get some water from here. This is me, and the mosque. So, we just stopped outside. Um, the 15C, it's really easy. Like, it's such a fast bus service. Like, the bus is going really fast. And you just stay on it right till the last stop. And it takes you right outside the mosque. I just showed you that. The public transport's really easy here. And we're gonna get some water and go into the mosque. This is the Wadawariya in the mosque, biggest mosque in Turkey. Mazi's just gonna do her wudu. So you can just leave your bag there. Yeah. Some... Thanks for the demo, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really nice bathroom, huge. This is the woman's section. Yeah. 
a little gift shop here so my mum wants to look at the artwork we can come out on the terrace over here and enjoy the view just paid one lira we're gonna look out this to see the beautiful view this is what the terrace looks like so beautiful as he's looking out we're back on the boat and we're just gonna go to Karakoi on the bus um, which is where like Galata Tower and Taksim and everything is and we're gonna go eat and I'll show you guys the food and stuff we just got off the boat and now we're here um, at this place we're gonna get all the toppings okay these are the potatoes we're gonna eat mm, my mum got iron <laughs> we're still not full after those potatoes so my mom ordered one of these these are so nice we have them every time we come to Turkey this is what they're called I'm not sure if that's the name of them but they're like this um, bread and then you either choose potato or spinach or meat and then they put it like fold it into this bread and it's so nice look she's doing this one now this is how she does it Oh, a little spin it. What's it called? Do you know? I'm not gonna say it, but it's really nice. <laughs> Can we go to Galata Tower? And it, I think it's something like 10,000 steps, but I don't know if people are being dramatic or if it's actually 10,000 steps. But I'll keep you guys posted. So we've just made it up. A really steep bit. We're just taking a little break. Guys, we're here. Uh, we didn't, it wasn't a long walk at all. Yeah, it was a strenuous walk in my mother's words. I want to know what the walk you up and if you have to walk up to the top. We're in the Galata Tower. We're gonna go up this lift. So we're right at the top. You do have to walk up a few steps, but it's nothing too crazy. But people have put little locks on the fence. out the tower and now we're gonna come here for some cheesecake if we find a spot it's so busy the ice lattes and we got the cheesecake all finished hi guys so it's friday today i'm actually stood alone so this is a bit up my mom and maria have gone to pray Juma at the mosque um they wanted to go inside the Hagia sophia but i think Either people, have, we got there too late and they closed off, but everyone's praying on the street and it's so beautiful and the good buzz like playing out loud. People are staring at me, um, but yeah, it's so awkward. Um, yeah, they're praying. I'm gonna just go find somewhere to get some pomegranate juice and then I'll meet them back. We have like a meeting point, but it's so peaceful here. And I've got my little abaya that Mari let me wear. I'll give you like an outfit of the day later. I remember I got pomegranate juice from here the other day and it was really nice. I'm gonna get it again because it's so hot. I'm sitting on this bench and you can see the guys are praying there. And this is the rest of the square. So I'm just going on a little stroll. This is my favorite part. It's just so peaceful here. There's loads of people just sitting on the grass. But it's a nice place to chill if you need to relax. Look who I'm with! Just met a viewer. She was so sweet. She was really, really nice. Uh, met her at the busiest time. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many people on the road right now. Anyway, we're gonna go get some pomegranate juice for Mazi. Yeah, I'm really thirsty. I was in like the blazing sun while we were yeah. and I got so sweaty. <laughs> we'll come back to the same place to get Mazi some pomegranate juice. That's so cute. Has he got orange juice? So it's good. literally so nice. That is the nicest orange juice I've ever had. It's so fresh. So this is Maria's outfit of the day. Tell us what's going on so here. So I've got a slip dress which I got from Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, and then this abaya is from Tyra's Boutique. Oh yeah, Longside. shout out Tyra's Boutique and in Longside. And this Abaya's Boutique in like Almond's Road, I think. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this abaya, £15. £15? £15. £15. So 
Can I have my orange juice with me? It's so yeah. good. I'm gonna get really another good. one. So I have a slip dress on from Naked Fashion. And then my, where is this from? This is from Mari. Uh, this is from, that's from a Bios boutique. Oh, okay. And then back from H&M. That's it. Cute. Guys, guess where we are? We felt a lot of pressure to come here because I don't know, everyone comes here when they come to Istanbul. So I'm excited to try the food, but it's like it's so massive inside. And if you look at the shops on the outside, it literally looks like a takeout. And then when you walk in, you see all this, and it's crazy. So the first thing we got is this Mediterranean salad. And I'll show you, looks like that. We're gonna eat this with our steak. The next thing we got is the Nusrat special. So we ordered the Nusrat special and basically they chop it up and it's not fully cooked yet, they partly cook it. And then I think they cook the rest in butter. Oh, here it goes. We also got the um, burger with mashed potato and chips. <laughs> so Mazzy's gonna become salt bay for a second yet. Wow, perfection. <laughs> so we just finished Nusrat's. Um, we got recommended to go to the one in the Grand Bazaar because the queue is smaller. We didn't have a reservation and we only ended up waiting for 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, the food was really nice and we wanted to go because I know there's one in London but it's like triple the price. But Mari, show the meat! So basically we had two pieces of steak left and my mum didn't want to waste it but we were all so full so we were like, you know what, we're going to take it. We smuggled the meat in a tissue <laughs> and we're just giving it to cats outside. Um, but yeah, we're on the hunt to find a cat. We already gave one piece away. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Look how pretty it is here. Like the vibes are so nice. It's so warm and we're just walking around. We found our cat that we're gonna give it to. Just out. Oh yay, eat it! Oh Aww, she likes it. Oh my god! Just getting the charm home. Whoa! of Istanbul. So it's the end of the night and we're just dipping our feet in the pool but it's so relaxing. Hi guys! So it's the last day today. We've had a bit of a slow morning. I think it's like a love. Anyway, so we've not got much plan- <laughs> We're pretty much just going to Prince's Island. Um, I thought it was called Princess Island <laughs> but it's not. It's called Prince Island. Um, but yeah, we've had such an amazing time in Turkey. I think today it's raining. Um, but it's okay, I walked outside to see what the weather was like and it's still humid, so it's not too bad. I'm going to walk to that Bosphorus area and then see what the boat situation is to get there. And I'm not even sure we know what to do there, but we've been told to go, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, let's give them a review about Nusrat Mazi. Wearing our cardigans today because it's Hi gonna guys. be cold. We got Mazi. So, how did we feel about Nusra? Um, we're not meat lovers, yeah. but we did try no, it. No, we like, do eat meat. Yeah, we do. But we're but not crazy about a steak. So when we went in, we didn't expect it to be so big. Yeah, I've seen pictures in it, but I thought maybe because it's the Grand Bazaar one, it won't be that spectacular. Because to get there, you walk through like loads of alleyways. Yeah, and, and then, then it's really small. The, the shop entrance. outside, yeah, the shop outside looks like a takeaway. So we were like, oh. And then the entrance is really small, but when you go in, it's massive. I like, think it's he's, so big. yeah, I think he's bought a bit of the Grand Bazaar. Like, that's what it looks that's like we inside. And then he has like stores for other um, people yeah. to sell No, stuff. the food was nice. Yeah, so all in all, I do think you should try it out. I wouldn't go again, to be honest. Outfit of the day, because I don't think, I think I've made one outfit of the day. Okay, so my outfit is this really pretty yellow dress. That's what it looks like. And then I showed this in my ASOS haul. I showed this in my ASOS haul as well. So go check that out. And I've got sunglasses on my head even though it's raining today. We just got some pastries and we're gonna take this on the boat to Prince Island. So that's like the Bosphorus area. And then this is where it is. Well actually I'll tell you if it's even nice, but 
the pastries look so good and the, the like cut open the cheese and olives um yeah i'll let you guys know just we'll got the tour. gods uh we had one minute to make it onto this boat and we did it we literally ran from like one side of the pier to the other Ooh. what is that mushrooms, mushrooms and oh, cheese nice. harry's got a chicken roll that looks so good what did i get veggie pizza so excited i'd say it's like a beachy vibe over here getting some ice cream We're on some kind of bus no, tour. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't actually know what's happening. I think we're gonna have a tour of the island, but I have no idea. We don't know what's happening. I don't know how long this takes. Also, it took us like one and a half hours on the boat to get to this island. Mari, would you recommend coming here? Uh, so far, no. No. But we'll see what this. We'll see what update you. This bus might turn our opinion right around about Princess Island. Right now, I'm not vibing with it. Like it's cute, but um, it takes like an hour and a half to get here, and then obviously an hour and a half back. So it takes like a lot of time out of your day, and I'm not vibing with it. So I'll give you some B-roll though. So we're just going through the street. Like it's a lot of shops like this. This bit's really cute actually. We're on a boat now on the way back to the old city where we're staying But I bought some snacks so I'm gonna give you a snack call We got some orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice These tomato ketchup crisps, how are they? Good! And then how are you folks? We don't get to eat these at home but I got some fizzy ones And then water of course No thank you! Got some more juice coming around how was Princess Islands? Would you recommend it? Um, if you have loads of days here, yeah. then you can come. But I don't mm. think it's a priority. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a priority. Yeah. If you're looking for something to do, then come here. So on our way back home, I think we're going to get something to eat. And we want to go back to the Blue Mosque area. Isn't that our, is that our favourite area? Just around the Blue Mosque. Yeah. And we're going to try to find something to eat over there. Okay. Yeah. We are just on our way to our last dinner and I'm gonna miss the street. We're just gonna go to the Blue Mosque area and then choose somewhere to eat. But I'm so sad it's our last night here. So we've been told to try this burger. It's like a wet burger. It's called Islak hamburger and we're literally getting it from... You can't even see it because of the condensation. Mari will show you but it's just this little stand outside the Sophia Mosque. Um, and then I think we've decided we're gonna eat in one of those restaurants over there. What do you think? Mm. Was, what was it? 17 lira, so that's less than a pound. Mince pea day. Whichever. Mince stuff is better than it. Yeah, you can try and mix if you want. So we got some lentil, chi um, lentil soup and chips for our starter. So I got done a doner kebab. So did Mazi and then my mom. What's that called? Oh, it's a casserole. lamb casserole. We got some complimentary orange tea. I haven't had orange tea yet, so interesting. So I've got the leftover we meat didn't <laughs> ready for the bit. We just collect all the meat that we don't eat and we just give it to the cat. Give it a bit of rub. So, okay, tea time. 